Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 14 Hello, Lord pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what, what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I think you baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to... Kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great... Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out! Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere! How did you know that was gonna happen? I, I don't know, I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, 
can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on, just let me go. Okay, sure, honey, you can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute. What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey, Dad, I'm going to head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry. Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. <sighs> you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no. You got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! Oh. Now the get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire. I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option. My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Aw, oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry kid, no, I'm not married. That's okay, I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning, you look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush, follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go. <gasps> no. Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger. Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Wanna do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Here, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today. And so many articles have been written. I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh, I'm not gonna use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. 
So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much, but I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is going to find me. He's not going to look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of- Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that... Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline, but I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you too. Prince Daniel, will you be my valentine? Sorry, princess, I can't. Why not? My mom says I have an arranged marriage <laughs> to another princess. Prince William, are you ready for our Valentine's Day? <laughs> <gasps> Princess Elizabeth! Date. It's not what it looks like. Give me back my heart. I'm sorry. I didn't realize he was with you, Princess. I'm just gonna go. Elizabeth, you only have one heart left, and if it breaks, something horrible will happen to you. No more dating. What? I'm sorry, but you don't have a good taste in men. I will be picking a husband for you. Elizabeth, meet your husband-to-be, Prince Darren. Hello. Mwah. She's beautiful. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Give him your heart. I promise to take good care of it. Mother, may I speak to you in private, please? Of course. I'm not giving him my heart. Oh, Elizabeth, why not? Because I was getting a really creepy vibe from him. Didn't you see the way that he was smirking at me? That's what men do when they like you. Mom, no they don't. You need someone to protect your heart, and that's what he's going to do. This is my last heart, and I'm not trusting that prince with it. If she doesn't believe me, then I have no choice but to run away. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm just a commoner. And you? You're the princess. I'm realizing now I probably shouldn't have left the palace with my crown on. I see her. She's down there. They found me. What's wrong? I need you to keep my heart safe. Princess, I couldn't. Please. Get her. Please take it. This is my last heart, and if it breaks... Something bad will happen to you. Someone's trying to break it. I will do my best to protect your heart, Princess. Get her. Run. But what about... Run! Running away from the castle, are we? Come here. I found her, Your Majesty. Let go of me. Elizabeth. Where is your heart? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I mean I don't know because I gave it to another man. What? What was his name? I'm not sure, Mother. I didn't ask.
Could I have a moment with my fiancé alone? Of course, your highness. You can play all the games you want, princess. I will marry you, and I will find the man who took your heart. Look all you want. You're not gonna find him. We shall see. Prince Darren, we have found him. They were too fast, princess. I'm sorry. Where is the princess's heart? Well, that's the thing, Prince Darren. You may have caught me, but you'll never find where I hid the princess's heart. How dare you hide my daughter's heart? My queen, I say we send him to the torture chamber. No, it's the only way to get him to talk. Mother, please. Elizabeth, Prince Darren is right. He still won't talk. We only got his name, William. Ugh. Mother, let me speak to him, please. He will tell me where my heart is. Oh my goodness, what have they done to you? I promise to keep your heart safe, and I don't break my promises. I can't let you suffer for me. But the prince that you're supposed to marry, I can tell. He is evil. I know, William. But that's my problem, not yours. Where's my heart? Finally, her heart is where it belongs. All right, Mother. Prince Darren has my heart. Now let William go. No, dear. I'm afraid I can't do that. William is going to be killed. William is going to be killed for stealing your heart and hiding it. It must be done. I told him to do it. Oh, Elizabeth. You're just trying to protect him, I know. It was such a tough decision, Princess. May I speak to her alone? Of course, Darren. Don't be so sad. Get away from me. <laughs> we shall be married tomorrow. I will never marry you. Oh, but you will. That is, if you want William to live. Marry me tomorrow, and I'll convince your mother to let him live. And if you try anything, I will break your last heart. Do you understand? Do you accept Prince Darren as your husband? I do. Excellent. Now may I kiss the bride. Stop! That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. It's true, Mother. He's been threatening me. What? I warned you not to speak against no. me. Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because it was my last heart, not yours. William! Stop! Stop the wedding. That prince is evil. William? He escaped? And he's lying. No, it's true, Mother. Prince Darren has been threatening me. I warned you not to speak against me. No! Her heart. Why is nothing happening? Because that was my last heart, oh, not yours. William, his last heart, it's broken. What happens when your last heart breaks? I'm pretty sure you... You die. <laughs> How could you? Mom, there has to be something that we can do for him. Elizabeth, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Just be happy that it wasn't your heart. Arrest him. Get off of me. You should be arresting him. He took her real heart. My heart? I can give him my heart. William, where did you put my real heart? I... <sighs> William? Elizabeth? Don't speak to me. Darling, they found it. The gods found your heart. My heart? Do you think it'll work if I give it to him? I'm not sure, dear, but it's worth a try. William, I want to give you my last heart. Please wake up. Heart oh. share. <gasps> William! Elizabeth! Let's play a game. Selected. Why would you do that? One of us is going to die now! Yes, but one of us is going to get money. What game are we playing? A game of odds. Heads or tails? Tails! Alright, I choose heads then. No, it's tails. Uh, a redo? Just the granola bar? Yes. How much? Let's play a game. Selected. What game? Go fish. The ten of hearts? Go fish. Joker. What? How did you know? You're a cheater! Mom, I'm home. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. Sissy, let's play a game. Selected. No, you can't say those words. One of us is going to die now. What game? What? You need to choose a game. You need to choose one you're good at. So that you can live. No, I don't want you to die. Sissy, just choose a game. Okay, how about we draw toothpicks? Whoever chooses the shortest stick loses. This is a game of luck. You're supposed to choose a game you're good at. I don't know what game I'm good at. You choose first. I got the short stick. Wait. Let's play a game. 
I want to make a deal with you. If I win the game, you spare my little sister. But if I lose, you kill us both and you get double the prize money. Deal. What game are we playing? Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Ooh, another day, another charge. <clears throat> what? Mom, I need to borrow your charger. No, I'm using it. I'm only at 10%. I'm going to die. Here, hurry up. It's not working. Let's try this. That's the emergency charger. This is an emergency. It didn't work. There must be something wrong with my charging port. Did I hear something wrong with the charging port? Hold still. Hold what? What happened? You made it worse. I'm at 2% now. There's one more thing we can try. Come with me. Wait. So, you need more charge? Yeah, my dad says you know what to do. <laughs> I have just the thing. Dad, this guy seems sketchy. Put this to your charging port, and whatever you do, don't move. Wait, why can't I move? No question, just do it. I am tired of getting electrocuted. Look at your energy. 200%? But that's not even possible. I have so much energy. I feel so great. My energy hasn't went down all day. Not even 1%. That's great, but maybe you should take a break, Brianna. Not a chance. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I feel great. Are you sure? Oh, yes. I really do. My energy is at its max, and I am loving it. Woo! <laughs> okay, what's my superpower? What is this? It's your birthday. What special power did you get? I don't know. There's just a bunch of colors over my head. Colors? Yeah, there's blue. What happened? Nothing. You just have blue lines on your face now. Oh. I selected it. It's so funny. She doesn't even get a real power. Hey, why would you say that? What? I never said anything. That was so weird. Hey, happy birthday. Hey, my dude, Jim. She'll never know how madly in love with her I am. You're in love with me? What? How did you know that? Whoa, I can read minds. Hey, is your birthday party still on at your place? Yes, of course it is. I really hope her mom's there. She is so fine. I'm so over this whole mind reading thing and stay away from my mom. I wonder what superpower red will give me. Oh, oh I forgot. Puts lines on my face. Hmm. I don't feel any different. Guess what? My crush asked me out and we're going on a date tonight. Danger. I don't think that's a good idea. Why? You're never happy for me. No, you don't understand. It gave me a danger warning. A what? It looks safe to cross now. Let's go. <gasps> Wait! Whoa, that was close. Your power's actually, like, really useful. Hey, I invited Jim to come study with us. Jim? Okay, but you know he's, like, madly in love with me, right? Really? Since when? Danger. 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 Oh, that must be Jim. I'll be back. I'll go Danger. let him in. Wait, no! Let's see what power black gets me. What new power did you get? I'm not sure yet. 63 years left? Hey, Brianna, cool lines in your face. Very rad. Five years left? <laughs> what? Oh, it shows me how many years people have left to live. Huh? I would start taking better care of your health. You don't have much time left. You're crazy. 63 years. Why do you keep saying that? That's how long you have left to live. What? No way. I deserve way more than that. I have to study really hard if I want to go to med school next year. I think it's better if you just live in the moment. No, med school's my dream. Yeah, but life is very unpredictable. You never know in a year you could be gone. You're just jealous you can't get into med school. What power will I get for purple? Ooh, purple kind of suits me. Why haven't you left yet? It's 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? No way, I'm gonna be late for school. What's happening? Whoa, how did you get here? You're lucky. You made it just in time for the bell. Whoa, I can teleport. Class was so easy. Oh no, I forgot my bag. I got you, bestie. I got your bag, bestie. Thank you. And I also got this. What's that? It's the answers for the upcoming science test. 
I teleported it into Mrs. Jennings' office and I took them. And the best part is, no one could have saw me go in. Because I didn't. I teleported. Brianna, we saw that you took the answers. Principal Smith, how is that possible? I never even went in. You know we have security cameras, right? I forgot about that. Gotta go. All right, it's time to see what the last power is. Brown. Ugh, looks like shit. Hey, Bessie. Hey, Brianna. Uh, where are you? What are you talking about? I'm literally right here. All right, wherever you're hiding, come out. I'm right in front of you. No, you aren't. <sighs> whatever joke you're playing or prank or whatever, it's not funny. Looks like Brianna's absent today. What? No, I'm literally right here. I can hear you, but I can't see you. Come out this instant. Why can nobody see me? Oh, that must be my new power. I can be invisible. How do I turn this off? Oh. Huh. Ah, when did you get here? Time to spy on people. What is my bestie doing over there with my boyfriend? Brianna can never know the truth about our love. Happy birthday. Hope you like your gift. Gummy bears, really guys? They're magic. Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was gonna happen? I, I don't know, I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I, I just said no. Oh, come on. Just let me go. Okay, sure, honey. You can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure, do you have the receipt? I don't, I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care, I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry, I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. <laughs> hey, Dad, I'm gonna head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry, Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break with the news about the divorce. <sighs> you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no, you got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah. Well, now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Well, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm going to give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> 
taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good. Ready for the ghoul school? Yes, and I think my creature name is about to appear, but I already know it's gonna say vampire. Actually, darling... Dad, that's the bus. I gotta go. I don't want to be late. Welcome to class. Today we'll be learning about the rarest type of creature. Does anyone know what it is? Is it the rarest one a mermaid? No, dear. It's a fairy. But aren't fairies extinct? No. Legend says there's only two left in the whole world. That is why all creatures here must get a DNA check. What would happen if one of the students here was a fairy? They would be taken for experimentation, but we've never found a fairy before. <laughs> Next in line. Hmm, your facial structure is very unique. Quite so. You okay, know, open for the DNA simple. test. We need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared, and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? Darling, look! <gasps> what do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well... Attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna? No. Please work. Darling, are you alright? Yes, thank you. Of course, darling. I will always protect you. I'm sorry, I'm not your real dad. Even though we might not be related by blood, you're always gonna be my dad. Oh, darling, thank you. I love you so much, Luna. I love you too. Well, I think it's time we leave this place. I know somewhere safe we can hide away and live. Red alert! What do we do? Well, we both have wings. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Come on, let's go. You make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17. She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's going to be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. 
That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Gloria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No. My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my days left turned back to red, and remember mother said- Your mother is gone. And I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you... I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you... I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's all right now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, Princess. Oh, or, you know, you could stay. Yeah. If you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, Princess. Come on, please don't be anything bad. Okay, how was that a curse? I mean, we basically read each other's minds anyways. So, do I tell her I can read her mind now? Nah, I don't want to creep her out. That's kind of weird. Hey. Hey. How do you look so nice today? You look so pretty today, too. I mean, you look so pretty every day, honestly. Um, thanks? She's totally lying. Why would she think I was lying to her? Bye, babe. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys are so cute. I have to get them to break up. I can't wait to get away from the picture. Then she'll be all mine. 
I don't understand why she would be thinking all this stuff. Unless maybe she likes me. Does this mean she's gonna try and ruin my relationship with Chris? I'm overthinking. There's no way this Amber Alert's for him. Breaking news, a teenage boy has been reported missing tonight. Jace? Hey girl, how are you? Not good. Didn't you hear the news about Jace? No. Macy, he's missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? I gotta get to class. I think she might have Jace. That's it. I have to go talk to her. You wanted to talk to me? Uh, yeah. And, um, listen, this is kind of hard to say, but I know that you like me. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just... Good. She doesn't like her. She doesn't It's just... It's just that I have a boyfriend? Mm, well, he's missing. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the... Achoo! No! At least it's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised. I know, I'm so sorry. <sighs> come on, girl, you're like the mutual friend. If you don't come, then no one else is gonna wanna come. Look, my parents said no. She doesn't wanna come to your party because she doesn't like you. You sure that's the reason? Yes, I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. She's lying. Your mom just grounded her. Mom just grounded you. How did you know that? You weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. Oh, whatever. Does this hair clip tell me the truth about people? Hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. Hey, babe, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work at Walmart. Like, how urgent can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, then where does he... I'm following him. What is he doing here? This place looks super sketchy. What do you think you're doing, huh? Come here. Hey, boss, look who I found snooping around here. Babe, what, what is going on? Babe, you know this girl? I've never seen her before in my life. I'm sorry, did our two years together just mean nothing to you? Two years? Have you been keeping secrets from me? I told you, you know what the rules are. He's trying to protect you by lying. He works for very dangerous men. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriend. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. He's lying to protect you. You know what, my bad. Actually, I thought that he was my boyfriend, but- Be quiet. What did I tell you? No attachments. Which means no girlfriends. Like I said, I don't know her. Okay, good. Then you should have no problem killing her. <laughs> you see, sir, I would kill her, but you know, I don't want to mess up this new shirt, so- Either you kill her, or him and I will do it ourselves. No, please. Look, let's just all settle down. You just- I think I'm gonna need a change of clothes. Really, babe? The Mafia? You're lucky I find that kind of attractive. Well, I know a place we can lay low. I bet. You gotta be careful with the trust. I have something that can help with that. How many is it gonna be? Six? That's not so bad. What's the first task? Well, this is where I die. Uh, hey, Mom. Hey, sweetie, does this dress look okay? Uh, no, actually it makes you look fat. What? How dare you? A J? <sighs> Must be a fuckboy. No way. I'd rather die. Hey, Mr. Fitz, can I talk to you for a second? Of course, Giselle, what's wrong? Well, since you have a free period, I was wondering... Do you understand all the materials? Yeah. Thank you. An A? I did all of this for a J-A? Whatever, just give me the next task. An A? I did all of this for a J-A? Whatever, just give me the next task. 
steal something from a store. That shouldn't be too hard. Hey miss, can I help you? Oh, no thank you, I'm just looking. Be sure to call me if you need anything. Will do. Hmm. Might as well steal something cute. Well, that was easy. Hold it right there. You're under arrest for thievery. <sighs> did you or did you not steal that shirt? Yes, I did, but it was for a task. End of story. Guilty. Wait. Damn it. A Y. J. What's the next task? You have got to be kidding me. I've got demons, you've got scars All the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven, and then we fell now You might think it's over, but the story's ours to tell Just know that I will be with you Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here while you're searching for your life out in the dark Looking for the moon, you'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you, don't look behind you If you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and I'll be I've got demons You've got scars For all the bumps and bruises take us to the place we are We've been through heaven And then we fell and You might think it's over but the story's ours to tell Just know that I will be with you Just keep looking for the moon And I'll be here while you're searching for your life out in the dark Looking for the moon, you'll see it clear Cause it shines the same wherever you are Let it guide you, don't look behind you If you stay within the light, I'll always find you Looking for the moon and Three, two, one, Happy New Year! Let's reveal our marks Okay, you go first Okay, you got red. Ah, uh, phew. All right, my turn. Oh shit. What? Just look at this mirror. <sighs> you got purple. I don't think this is a good idea. Shh, stay still. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look, who said being gifted is a bad thing? I mean, do we really need to change my mark? Yes, I heard rumors about what might happen to the gifted people and it's really not good. This just in, all the purple marks will be taken in by the government for experimentation. As they could be a potential threat to normals and therefore need to be examined by professionals. Honey, let's go, we're late. W where are we going? Lizzie, it's time for the mark check. That's today? Yes, let's go. Let's see your mark. It's smeared. Uh, yeah, it just appeared like that. Mm-hmm. We have a code 52. What's a code 52? No questions. Come with me. Just as I thought, you should have done a better job with the makeup. Well, actually, my friend did it. Right. Blame it all on your friend. But she did. Don't get her angry. We don't know what she's capable of. Fine. Prepare the scanner. Scanner? Quiet. No talking, please. Turn your head to the side and stay still. Scanning. Level 10. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? Quick, someone get her a room and get her labeled now. What is going on and why is there a 10 on my neck? It's the danger level of your powers. Powers? What do you mean by powers? Everyone with a purple mark has been gifted with powers. You have them too. I do? Mm -hmm. Now prepare her for testing. Welcome to the testing room. We will now determine what power you have. There's been a mistake. I don't have powers. Of course you do. They just haven't been activated. Well, how does that happen? We found that it happens during a time of distress. Okay, now that's on. Let's try mind reading. This is ridiculous. Just say what number you think I'm thinking of. I don't know. Uh, two. Wrong. Ow! So sorry, but this is part of the process. 
Ten. No, wrong again. No, please. I'm telling you guys, I don't have mind reading. Look, it's been half an hour. Probably should give her a break. No, we have to keep going. No, she needs to rest. Would both of you just be quiet? Are you guys almost done shopping yet? Can you, like, stop complaining? Ocean, do you like this dress? Yeah, it's cute, I guess. Okay, cool, because you're buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Your total is 5,200 words. That is an insane amount of words. So what? It doesn't affect you. We're hungry. Okay, then go buy yourself your own food. I am done paying for you guys. You brat! How dare you! You know we don't have a lot of words! Well, maybe if you guys didn't talk so much, that wouldn't be a problem. <gasps> That's it! I'm calling Daddy! Oh my gosh, he's so gonna yell at her. No, wait! What do you guys want to eat? <laughs> <laughs> That's what we thought. Look! The prince! Let's go talk to him! Are we allowed to? Are we allowed to? Of course you're not! Just stay here! I swear, she is so annoying! Excuse me, but what if I told you I could help you meet the prince? And all I need are your words. You want me to give you my infinite words? Mm-hmm. But I'll get your stepsisters to leave you alone, too. You could do that? How? Through magic, of course. Just look at how hot the prince is. I mean, don't you want him? He is very handsome, but I just can't give up my words. I don't even know if I can trust you. My dear, I live to help others. In fact, I'll even give you a chance to gain your words back. All you have to do is get the prince to fall in love with you. But without my words, how will I get him to- You have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. <laughs> Ocean, we want more food. I don't have all day. Okay, you have a deal. Excellent choice. Perfect. And one more thing about the deal. <laughs> you have 48 hours to get the prince to fall in love with you, or your words are mine forever. Ocean, we're hungry. Let's go. Forget. Why are you talking to that weird girl and her grandma? I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here. Grandma? Why? I ought to turn them into clams. Let's just get you to the prince. The prince will be here any minute. Good luck. Your time starts now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. Do you need some help? You don't have any words left, do you? You must be lost. It's not safe out here. Please, come with me. Is that better? What's your name? Oh, right. Uh, wait here. Ocean. That's a beautiful name. I wish I could give you words, but my father, he made it against the... Son, who are you talking to? Oh, no, no, no. Buzzcut is not move. I'm off to school. What? No, I'm not choosing either of these. Choose. The choices I get are so crazy. I have to choose if he writes his test or skips. Yeah, those choices are very crazy. What? Are you insane? I'm not choosing. What's wrong? Choose. It's not even a choice. Choose. No. What's going on? Oh, please don't make me choose. Choose. Hey, sorry I'm late. Why hasn't class started yet? The teacher's on some kind of super serious phone call. Thanks for letting me know. I'll make sure everyone's safe. Goodbye. Class, there has been multiple zombie sightings. No one is going home tonight. That's impossible. What? No way. I want to go home. Don't you dare come here. How can you read at a time like this? I'm just trying to clear my head, that's all. The zombies are approaching the building. Stay calm, everyone. How can I be calm at a time like this? Just stay away from us. Oh no. The zombies. They're coming in the building. Get me out of here. What are we gonna do? 
What are we gonna do? The zombies are in the building. Don't panic. I'm panicking. You better hurry up. Look out the window. Some random guy is coming to the building. The bat has to be the better move. Whoa, how did you fight off all those zombies? You're so cool. Oh, you are not flirting with my desk. I mean, it wasn't a big deal. How can we repay you? How can you repay him? He caused it! Wait, how do you? Come, you and I need to talk. How do you know that I was the one who caused this? You know the random choices we get to make for our soulmate? So you chose the apocalypse? I didn't get to choose. It said either it's an apocalypse or an apocalypse. And then when I tried not to pick, it got mad at me. That is so ridiculous. Are you really thinking of kissing me right now? What? So spill it. How did you start the apocalypse? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just I'm nervous, that's all. Don't worry. We're in this together, no matter what. Kelly, please come to the stage to receive your number. That's you. Here I go. Uncover your number, please. Ten. Yes, that's my bestie. Brianna, please come to the stage to receive your number. Please uncover your number. Zero. She's useless. What a loser. Get out of here. Wow, they're pretty brutal out there, aren't they, Kelly? Kelly. Just go, I can't talk to you. Leave before someone sees us. Welcome, our class will now be divided based on our numbers. Please sit with your fellow numbers. Hello, my fellow zeros. How does it feel to be the bottom of the food chain? I don't belong here. You don't belong here? What, you think you're better than us? Yeah, I do actually. What makes you say that? Well, I'm an athlete, head cheerleader, lead of the school musical, and I'm popular. You're so popular. Go say hi to your number 10 friends over there. I will. Hey, guys. Shut up, Zero. Come with me. I want to show you something. Okay. Here's a wall of all the fellow Zeros that went to our school. Take a close look. Why are they all so young? All of the other numbers, it shows them through all their stages of life. 99% of Zeros don't make it past 25. They can only handle being outcasted and having no future or purpose for so long. You mean they... Precisely. Mom, I'm home. I had the worst day. Get out of my house immediately. Let's see your mark. Purple? Purple equals famous. You're five and you still can't read. It says famous. Well, does that mean that I'm going to be famous? You famous. Oh, no, honey. These marks are just for fun. But, um, you should cover yours up. Hey, guys, look who it is. Aw, it's the wannabe famous girl. Would you like to audition for a movie, love? No, thank you. Oh, but you're exactly what we're looking for. That's the script. You know what? Maybe I will. Okay, we're ready whenever you are. Action. I'm sorry, Derek, but I don't think things are working out between us. I... Okay, cut. But I didn't even get to finish. I know. We saw what we needed, thank you. Honey, what's that in your hands? Nothing. Was that a script? It wasn't, it was just some homework. It better not be. Now cover up that mark. Is this Tara? Yep. Hi, I'm calling to congratulate you. You got the part for the movie. You got the part for the movie. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, congratulations. Where are you going? I'm just gonna meet up with a couple friends from school. Is that okay? <sighs> yeah, all right. Just don't be too long. So, another question we have is, do you have any allergies? I mean, the only thing that I'm allergic to is peanuts, but other than that, allergic to peanuts. Got it. We start filming next week. Okay, thank you. Your mark is showing. Cover it up. I'm not going to cover up my mark anymore. Excuse me? And why is that? Because it might just be coming true. What are you talking about? I got cast as one of the leads in a movie. We start filming next week. I don't really care what you have to say. I'm going to go. My daughter is going to be a lead in a movie? Congrats! This is amazing! Did you like the dinner? Yeah, it was really good, and I'm glad you're supporting me now. Well, I should probably get to studying my lines, so... Actually, no. You won't be doing anything. I'm sorry, honey. I think I put peanuts in the food. What? Whoops. Clumsy me. <laughs> I can't wait. You're having an allergic reaction. Please. Everything will be fine. Ugh, you should have listened. I was supposed to get the famous mark, not you. Ma'am, what happened to her? I don't know. Get her on the gurney.
Her pulse is dropping. Ma'am, it's a miracle. Your daughter has survived. Wait, what? Excuse me, ma'am. After investigating this situation, you're under arrest. What? No, get off of me. I'm innocent. This just in, mother puts peanuts in... Tara? Yes, this is her. The director wants to speak with you. Hello, Tara. Look, with all the news that's going on with my mom, I can understand if you don't want me in your movie anymore. No, no, that's not why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I believe you have that mark for a reason, and I want you in my movie. And I'd like to help you book more movies, if that's okay. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend. Please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. If I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that! Where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Time to see how much money my boyfriend has in his bank account. Not that that's important. I knew he had money, but not that much money. I'm gonna pay him a little visit. Hey. Hey, handsome. I shouldn't tell him I know what's in his bank account. So, baby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, there is this Gucci bag that I really like, but... You know what? What am I saying? You don't have to get me anything. Come on. Of course I'm getting you something. In fact, you might get that Gucci bag as long as you're not too naughty. I'll try. Right now, why don't you go out and buy yourself whatever you need? Okay. Bad news. What? Fluffy stick. The vet says she needs surgery. Well, how much is it? It's about $2,000. We can't afford it. You know what? I think I got it covered. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good. Babe, I'm- Whoa. Back. Listen, it's not what it looks like. We can't break up. I need his money. I can't break up with him. I need his money. Uh, her and I are just friends. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Babe, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. It's okay. We all make mistakes. And it was my bad, really. I should have knocked before coming in. Thanks for understanding. She kind of made a mess. Do you think you can clean up? I gotta go to work. Of course, honey. All clean. And you just go make the money. Thanks, babe. Love you. Bye. He is so dead. 
I'm so happy Fluffy's okay, but how did you get the money to pay for her surgery? Mom, about that, there's something that I need to tell you. I can't believe he cheated on you. I know, but now that Fluffy's okay, I think I'm gonna go break up with him. What? Looks like he just got another paycheck. And you still have his credit card. Don't break up just yet. I have a plan for how you can get revenge. Hey, sweetie. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who is she? You know, I was about to ask you the same thing, but you look really familiar. Are you a model or something? Uh, actually, yes. Figures. I'm sorry, babe, but this girl was just leaving. But you said... No, stay. I think you're going to want to see this. I actually got him a little something. Here you go, sweetheart. Thanks. Oh, wait, but first, before you open that, I believe this is mine, right? Uh-huh. That's your Gucci bag. That's the one you wanted, right? Yes, it is. Thank you. Okay, go ahead and open yours. All right. What's this? Receipts of things that I bought this week. Baby, 10K worth of stuff? Oh, baby, you and I both know that you can afford it. Oh, and there's a card in there, too. Go ahead and read that. Roses are red, violets are blue, you're a dirty, rotten cheater, I'm breaking up with you? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Girl, let's get out of here. I'm right behind you. Wait! Ladies, I'll buy you anything! No amount of money is worth being with him. Goodbye. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Go on, talk. Explain yourself. It was an accident. I was just telling the cashier thanks. Uh-huh. You sure about that? Yes, I swear. You should really have your dinner. It's getting cold. That's enough talking out of you. Go to sleep. Bed, now. How did you make that chicken? Why? Because after I ate it, my head is filling. <sighs> My phone is dead, and his is locked away. I have to get the charger. Please hurry up. <gasps> yes. 911, what's your emergency? I need help. Thank you for the information, ma'am. Officers will arrive shortly. You. You thought you could get away with putting something in my food? Your words. Why did you use up so many? Actually, don't speak. I'll mm -hmm. find out. You can't outsmart me. <sighs> So step away from the girl. Let's see your hands. Looks like I just did. No. Babe, I got... Don't you dare use any more of those words. Understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? You don't have any money. Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be $6.99 back on the card. Please help me.